We're gonna ask the question, can God forgive me? And I know that when I ask that question, you're like, the answer is yes, and now I can get on with my day. But I'm hoping that we'll see it fresh this morning, and I'm fairly certain, I'm relatively convinced that a few of you have walked in here with shame, and you're not entirely sure where you stand with God on that shame. And here's the important point I want to make, though. I want to, I want to just sidestep myself for a moment and connect with you, the person who carries a different kind of shame altogether. Listen to me. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to be careful here. I understand that some of us walk in here with shame that is caused by the sin of somebody else. That is not the shame I'm talking about. I'm sorry for that sort of shame, and I know that can weigh us down, and I want to be gentle with you, and I want to be delicate, and I realize that when I start talking about words like shame, that's what can get kicked up in us sometimes, and we feel really lousy. That is not what I'm talking about. What we're going to talk about this morning is we're purely, totally going to focus on the shame that we carry because we've sinned against God himself. That's the shame that we're talking about. And Brene Brown is a researcher who studies how humans connect. She gave a TED Talk some years ago, I wanna say it was around 2010, on the power of vulnerability, and she makes a very powerful case that the primary driver that prevents humans from connecting with one another is shame. And she says that shame can run so deep in people that even the potential for forgiveness is not enough. And so people hide. She says, is there something about me that if you saw it or you knew it, you wouldn't want to connect with me? That I wouldn't be worthy of connecting to you at its root comes down to this, the fear of, I'm not good enough. The only way to break that chain, she says, is this, you have gotta be known, you gotta be vulnerable. She says, we've gotta have a sense that we are loved and that we are worthy and that we belong. I think Brene is onto something. And in fact, this TED Talk is so significant across the world, it's had 53 million views. So some folks do feel shame and they're not sure what to do with it, but as brilliant as Renee is, and I think she is, she misses the ultimate point. It's not that you or I need other people to see us as worthy. It's that we serve a God who actually loves to forgive. When we pick up Psalm 25, what David's about to do here is to show us that our instinct to run away from God in our sin is not what you do. In fact, you run as fast as you can to him. 